this video, we'll be installing a 400 amp LA vertically mounted main breaker on an NF panel board. The first step in the process is to remove the line lugs on A, B, and C phase. Next, we'll install the rail extensions. This is done by sliding it into the existing rail until the small hole lines up with the small hole and the large hole lines up with the large hole. Next, we'll seat the rail extension on top of the splice and then we'll repeat on the opposite side. Next, we'll take the mounting pan and install it onto the panel board. The mounting pan has an insulator pre-installed from the factory. The side with the flags on it goes towards the panel board. Next, we'll install the hard bus connectors to the panel board. The B phase connector has an insulator. Don't tighten these down all the way, leave them slightly loose. Next, we'll prepare the breaker for installation. You can buy the breaker with the lugs on the connection end already removed, or if you buy one with the lugs already present, follow the instructions in the instruction manual on how to remove them to prepare them for this application. We need to remove the lug covers from both ends of the breaker. This is done by removing two screws. Now you want to slowly work the hard bus connectors into the openings of the load side of the main breaker. It'll be necessary to slightly lift the breaker to get it over the extrusions that are in the mounting pan for the attachment hardware. Next, we'll secure the main breaker with four screws that come in the kit. Next, we'll install the hardware that holds the, the breaker to the hard bus connectors. This consists of a spring washer and a bolt. The spring washer needs to compress down when the screw is inserted, so it needs to be installed in this manner. Next, we'll finish securing the hard bus connectors to the bus bars of the panel board. Once properly installed, you should have insulators protecting from phase to ground and phase to phase in all positions. The next step is to properly torque all of the electrical connections per specifications that are in the instruction manual.
Now we can reinstall the lug covers on the breaker. Next, we need to install the dead front brackets on the rails. We'll do this using the two longer screws that come with the kit. The dead front brackets have two holes. The larger hole is a through hole, and that's the one that you'll use to attach the rail. The top of the dead front bracket will face towards the inside of the panel board. Next, we'll install the main breaker cover on the dead front assembly. We'll be removing the lug cover on the line end of the panel board. And the last step is to install the main breaker label on the main breaker cover. 